Hey guys, this is Shanu with InnoKinetic sitting here with my favorite Lotus add-on. Welcome back. Today we're here to talk to you about how we are going to improve all the senses. Yes, in fact, all five senses with our 111 RS. You guys know that the Lotus Elise is one of my absolute favorite sports cars. We've done some previous videos about that. I just feel like it's the most complete driver's car um, uh, that's available to us here in North America uh, that you can have fun with. And so we, we adore the car and we just absolutely, absolutely love it. So this video, I want to talk about how we take that wonderful car, right? And enhance it further, right? We, we're not, uh, I think I've said before, we're not starting with the proverbial sow's ear. In fact, we're starting with a silk purse. So we're just bejeweling it with some enhancements, right? We've been at the enhancement game for 20 years. And over the course of these last 20 years, we've developed and commercialized so many products. And as a result of that, we, we've ended up having all these great enhancements for the car. And I realized that, you know what? We are truly enhancing all five senses. So I decided to make this video here to try to explain to you and make my case of how we in fact are improving all the five senses. So the 111 RS was designed to be really the ultimate Canyon Carver, your backcountry road, a car that you can enjoy on those twisty roads that you can just drive and enjoy. We didn't create the 111 RS to be a track day car. You can take the 111 RS and it's safe to go on track, but it isn't gonna be the ultimate track day car. You know, we know to build the ultimate track day car, which we've also done and continue to do, you have to make certain compromises that render the car really useless on the street. So the 111 RS, we wanted to make it a really good street and road car first. That was the number one priority. So we feel we've done that with this car. So having said all of that, right, let's get straight into these five senses that we think we are improving. And you're going to have to bear with me because I can honestly say we cover the basis for sure on most of them, but we might be stretching things a little bit as well. But Bear with me as I walk you through my justification for how we've enhanced all of the senses, okay? So the first sense, this one's quite easy, right? The sense of touch or feel. That one is very, very easy for us to cover with all the enhancements that we've made to the car because we improve the handling. We improve the way the car feels through your fingertips, you know, whether it's through a quicker steering ratio, um, added camber, um, even the way you shift or row through the gears, the enhancements that we've made there, whether it's our sh ultimate shifter package, you know, as you're clicking through the gears, it just feels so much better, right? Your butt feels way better in the car if you have one of our more comfortable seats. Um, and so we've done things we believe to cover the bases when it comes to the sense of touch or feel. No problem. All right. The second sense that would be the sense of hearing, okay, or, or sound. Well, our sonic theory, we believe we've got the bases covered there with that. That exhaust sounds superb. It's quiet when you want it to be quiet, and then it's weakened when you're on cam. So it's it's got the sound piece covered without a question. But there's also things like, frankly, the mechanical sound of shifting through our Shifter 111. If you close your eyes, it actually sounds like you're clicking through a gated shifter, one of the old school gated shifters. So we think we are in fact improving that second sense of, of hearing or sound. So, okay. The sense of sight. All right. How are we enhancing your sense of sight with a 111 RS? Well, this is how we are starting with tired old cars. Generally cars that have got a lot of miles on them and they've been used and abused. And we are enhancing them completely, cleaning them up, and in many cases, having to repaint them. So that re repaint that we end up doing, and in some cases, some stripe enhancements, make it look so much better. So, and you could argue with some of the stripe packages, it looks even better than the original paint job. 
and how it looked aesthetically. Certainly when you add our wheels, whether it's our monolites, Stella courses, or even the ethos wheels, you can make the, the look of the car better with the stance of the wheels, they're a little bit wider, the offsets, car just looks more aggressive. So we think we've got that piece of it very, very much covered. Now, there's one controversial thing that we've done that you guys might feel is not, and in fact, we've taken some heat, um, and, and that is an, a more of an aesthetic thing that we've done on some of the cars that I know a few of you do not like, but I'm gonna cover that one actually in that fifth sense so that we get to that. So, so, so hang in there while, while, while we get to that one. So the fourth, the fourth sense, and that's the sense of smell. All right, this is a bit of a stretch, but these cars usually are dirty and need a good bath. So they usually stink. What do we do? We steam clean them. We wipe them down. We make these cars smell better than they did when they arrived. So I would argue that we enhance the sense of smell through the cleaning process that we put in place to rejuvenate a, uh, an Elise, a tired old Exige into a 111 RS. So that's how we do that. So now here we are, the fifth one. Okay, the fifth and probably the most controversial of the senses, and this is a stretch, but please bear with me, my dear viewer, because I think I can make a case, and that is the sense of taste. Well, sense of taste, right? Most of us don't lick or eat our cars. So, and we just gone through two years of COVID where many of us lost our sense of taste. So I would like to ask all of you to put that definition of taste to the side. The definition that I would like to use in the context of how InnoKinetic has in, enhanced all the five senses in the build, the 111 RS builds, that would be in this manner. The definition I would like to use is basically the ability to discern what is of good quality or of a high standard, right? That sense of taste is what I think we have done with the 111 RS to elevate the game. So yes, I think we've made the car more tasteful. So some of you may not agree, in fact, there's one thing that we've done on some of these cars that I have been getting a lot of heat for on the internet. And I'm going to tell you about why I do that. And that is the rear badge that we've been putting on these cars, just a big Lotus badge that we have used much larger than stock. In some cases, some of you guys think it's not so tasteful, but I think it is. And in particular, the first one we did, we actually did it in black reflective film. And I put it on my first, my, my first test mule, 111 RS test mule, uh, which was a black Elise. So actually, in, in most cases, you couldn't even notice the notice badge on the back. But when a headlight hit it at night, it just really blew up. So anyways, we continue to use that large Lotus badge on the back. And I know many of you out in the... Uh, it, uh, internet there are not so uh, in love with that look, but you know what? I think as a as a Lotus owner, knowing that most people don't know have any clue what the hell this car is that you drive around in, I think it's not a bad idea to let the rest of the world know that you're driving a Lotus. And so, anyhow, we um, might be somewhat skating on thin ice here with uh, the claim that we are enhancing taste as well. But I'll leave that for you to decide, my dear viewer. Thank you for tuning in. Whether you agree with me or not, that's okay, because that's the beauty of car ownership, and in particular this country, where we get to make the cars what we want them to be, to be a reflection of who we are and the things that we like. So anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Thanks for tuning in.